Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another Golden State Warriors My League video today We've got the second round If you guys are new to the channel, hit that like button, get on board Closing in on push I mean, we're, we're actually at 10k, we're pushing towards 15k Hopefully we can get there soon Our last series was a series sweep over the Memphis Grizzlies And today we have the round 2 conference semi-finals review Of the Golden State Warriors and the Portland Trailblazers it's Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum going up against Stephen Clay. Let's get straight into game one. The Western Conference Semifinals Game 1. The Trailblazers are coming off a dominating four-game sweep in round one. Will their confidence finally be tested? Tonight, they go up against the Warriors. The opening game of the conference semifinals up next so game one in oakland we are ready like i said if you guys are new hit that like button we're gonna aim for a hundred likes on this video let's try and get more than a hundred and we'll keep rolling with these vids so cj damian lillard going up against steph clay wiggins draymond green and wiseman our traditional starting five that was through the entire season we basically brought on we are ready. The conference semis. We have the series sweep over the Grizzlies. And game one is underway. Now, game one. Boy, oh boy, did we start out hot in this. Stephen Curry got rolling. Step back. You better bet it's going in. Look at this from Steph. Step back on Damian Lillard. Getting it to go. And like I said, rolling early on in this. Stephen Curry, no answer for him early on. We had all the answers early on against this Portland Trail Blazers team. It's 4 nothing early on. Clay Thompson going to his spot, giving it to Steph. Steph again for three, and Steph hits the first seven of the first game of this one. As you see, CJ McCollum here getting inside the left hand. We do know how, I mean, how tough Damian Lillard and CJ are, but we did have a 20-point lead early on. Steph and Clay were absolutely unreal in this. Look at Steph just getting whatever he wants early on. He's up to 17 points, but like I said, big 20-point lead early on. James Wiseman was rebounding. Draymond Green wasn't scoring, but he was finding out open shooters. Look at Draymond. He threw that lob, baby! And Andrew Wiggins comes over the top, and he throws it down. So game one, looking like it's going to be the Golden State Warriors taking it here. Stephen Curry, look at Wiseman. Run that floor, baby Wiseman. Throw it down, James Wiseman, in his first playoff run. Going the length of the floor. Steph finding Wiseman, and this one is a blowout. So game one will go to the Golden State Warriors. Clay Thompson was huge in this. So was Steph. We will take game one, a 1-0 series lead over this Portland Trailblazers team. They are a tough team. Uh, I mean, like I said, they've got uh, CJ, they've got Nurk, Carmelo Anthony. I did know this was going to be a tough series. It wasn't just going to be a series sweep, just like the Memphis Grizzlies series was. As that's a beautiful lob there from Seth Curry. As you can see here, we're putting the finishing touches. Now, Portland did get this nice dunk. Come on, this beautiful dunk here. Rajon Rondo getting absolutely posted here. Uh, I mean... They had some moments in this one. We did put this game to bed early on. Look at this. 148 points, if you don't mind, in game one. Absolute domination. That would do us for game one in the first uh, in the first game of this series between the Trailblazers and the Golden State Warriors. 148 to 119. Let's go and have a look at this game review. It's always good to get off to a good start, especially at home. Clay Thompson finished with 39, Stephen Curry 34, James Wiseman 20 and 17, boy oh boy. McCollum and Lillard combined for 65, it wasn't enough for game one as we take it a 1-0 series lead going into game two. Now game two, I was expecting a much tougher game from the Portland Trailblazers and we're going straight into it here. So, still in Oakland, still at the Chase Center. San Francisco, I must say, not Oakland. Still in San Fran at the Chase Center. Clay Thompson was huge in game one with 39 points. We'll see how he goes in game two. Damian Lillard, we did know that he was going to come out very hot. The traditional starting five yet again. No changes. No need to make any changes uh, early on. Look at these jerseys looking very nice. Game two is underway here from Chase Center. And I tell you what, Portland definitely came 
with a different mindset in this one. Damian Lillard here trying to get in attack mode. McCullum off the screen to start this one off. He misses, but like I said, they came out hot. They were ready to roll in this. You see McCullum here. I don't know why we're going under the screen. McCullum launches. McCullum hits. And the Blazers off to that perfect start. But like I said, we were, I mean, we're actually coming out okay as well. We did have a few turnovers though. I mean, Portland's defense just ramped up uh, in this one. You can see here McCullum working. Lillard off the screen. Lillard going to pull this one, and Lillard hits the three. So CJ and Damian really coming out hot. Steph here. We had a few turnovers in this one. I mean, we're struggling. Wiseman to go inside, gets it to go. So James Wiseman, boy, oh, boy, is he having himself a playoff run. Now, we probably should have kept going with Steph. Don't know what we're thinking there. It was actually Clay Gives it to Draymond, and Draymond, he gets it to go. 41-47, second quarter here. Beautiful pass. Seth for three. You better... I mean, man, these Curry brothers, do they even miss? 49-47, three minutes to go here in the second. Beautiful pass inside. And Ken is going to make sure of it over the top of Wiseman. Big take there from Ennis Cantor. Like I said, we're aiming for 100 likes here. We are in the third quarter as Lillard hits a big three. Damian Lillard... Trying to put this, trying to give the Blazers a tied series. You see Steph here go inside, get it to go. Stephen Curry was struggling, though, in this game. Two points up to this point. He's actually up to four. And, I mean, just struggling to get going from the field. But that miss there activated the Golden State Warriors run. You can see here we do lead by three with four minutes to go here in the third. We're all tied up. Three minutes to go. Wiseman over to Steph. Boy, oh boy. He had four, I mean, what, two points in that uh, third quarter. And Steph just got rolling. Look at this. I mean, there is three Blazers players. And Steph, he's making it look effortless, as they would say on Inside NBA. Steph -itless. Why are we laying off Mallow? He knocks down the three. 126 plays 127. Closing in game two. Blazers looking to tie the series. Steph misses. Doesn't matter, though. We've got a one-point lead. And Portland have a chance to take the lead and take game two. Lillard shakes Clay, goes inside, and it's a blocking foul on Demarcus. I had to, I mean, I had to challenge this call. A blocking foul on Demarcus. It, I mean, it stood. The call stood, and we now trail by two. You already know we're going for the win. We are going for the win. He struggled early on in this, but Steph for the win. Stephen Curry wins game two for the Dubs. Are you kidding? A one-point lead. Look at us getting around. Steph. Steph was having an absolute shocker. And he finishes with the game winner. And we take game two. A big... I mean, that's a series-defining win. We lead the series now by two. Steph, 25, 4, and 6. James Wiseman, 24, 12, and 1. Draymond Green, his best game probably the season. Almost a triple-double. Damian Lillard done it all in this. 43 points. CJ McCollum, 28. Carmelo Anthony, 16. But it's Steph with the heartbreaker for the Blazers. We move on to game three after that game-winning shot from Stephen Curry, if you can believe it. Here in Portland, the Motor Center was absolutely rocking in this. And the Blazers, I, I mean, they could have taken game two and gone either way. They could have went into their shells or they could fight back and get a little, try and get a little bit of momentum in this series. Our starting five, our starting unit has got us that 2-0 lead. We're actually 6-0 in the playoffs so far going into this one here with the Trailblazers. 6-0, we swept the Grizzlies, and now we've got a chance to take a 3-0 lead over the Blazers. But Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum definitely had something to say about that in this one here. Lillard from the Motor Center steps in, pulls for three, got it. And, man... I don't really know what to say about these two games in Portland. I can just tell you this. We were struggling to shoot from the field, and Portland had the answers here. Have a look at this. Lillard again, getting to his spot, missing it this time. But like I said, we were struggling from the field. Draymond throws the lob, and Andrew Wiggins catches it and puts it in. Beautiful pass there from uh, Draymond Green. You see Wiggins here miss, and Wiseman puts it back. Now, this, these were probably our only highlights of this first half. As you see here, Portland were really putting it to us. Lillard for three in the corner. They were not going to get swept. I mean, you could just tell they, did, they were not going to allow us to sweep them here. It's a 10-point lead early on. Lillard again in the corner, and this man is an absolute problem. Stephen Curry and Clay were definitely struggling. You see Clay knocked down a three to keep us within 10, but Lillard... Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum had answers. You see here Lillard go inside. 
beautiful little shovel past the Cannon. We're jumping all over the place, and Ennis Cannon puts it in. And it's just, it's all trailblazers in this. Look at uh, Damien get his own board. Go over the top of Draymond Green, puts it in. And the Trailblazers were just too good in this game here. It's an actual blowout in this. We haven't had too many blowouts this season. It was actually us blowing out Memphis in the last series. And we, I mean, we just were struggling. Struggling to get from the field. Struggling to get Curry going. I mean, he only had the 15 at this stage. Uh, Andrew Wiggins was struggling. I mean, he's probably one of our best players, though, on the night. You see Wiggins throw the lob and DeMarcus throw it down. But it's the Portland Trailblazers taking game number three. Our perfect playoff run comes to an end. They take game number three. Look at this beautiful step back from Steph. But game number three was going to the Blazers and Damian Lillard putting the finishing touches and throwing it down. Damian. 1-4-1 plays 1-4-9. The Blazers too good at home. We fall to a 2-1 series def uh, lead still. I was about to say deficit. We still lead this series 2-1. Uh, going back to the Motor Center. So we will stay in Portland to play game number four here in Portland. We are looking to bounce back. Now, I actually expected Portland to roll over after that game winner from Steph. They fight back. They get the series win. And now they, uh, they're they one game behind us. Clay Thompson, 27. Andrew Wiggins, 27. Steph struggled, 24. Damian Lillard, 31. McCullum, 28. And Nurk, 18, 7, and 6. Uh, their big players really stood up. They got, this, they got that game. And now they got a chance to tie the series. Game four, back in Portland here. We are ready. I mean, we, we need to come out and shoot the ball a lot better than we did. We need to avoid turnovers in this one if we're going to be any chance of going up 3-1 and taking a commanding series lead. Damian Lillard has actually been just, just balling in this series. I mean, absolutely balling. Uh, even in their losses, he was, he was scoring 35-36. He was absolutely unreal. So, it's time. We're back in the Motor Center. We're still rolling with our starting lineup. Draymond Green, though, did go pretty quiet in Game 3, so I was kind of worried. In Game 4, if we kind of got the same result, maybe there was a lineup change. But we start this one off here, and our turnovers. Boy, oh boy. Their defense has just gone to a new level. Our turnovers hurt us in this, and Portland were just taking full advantage of it. You see here, CJ McCollum at the top. Clay Thompson just giving him way too much room here. McCollum over to Carmelo, and I mean... Carmelo was inserted, I think, earlier on into the starting lineup, and they were really showing out here. Steph, another turnover, and this led to a clear path foul, and man, not a lot to say about Game 4 either. It was all the Blazers early on. I mean, we're struggling from the field. You see Steph here trying to get us going. We're trailed by 9, going inside, and I mean, since that Game 2 victory, it's been all the Blazers. 2 plays 11. Steph going with the right hand here, trying to go inside, getting it to go. He was trying to will this Golden State Warriors team. But like I said, ever since that Game 2 game winner, it's been all the Portland Trail Blazers as Curry hits the tree. Steph hits the three over Nurk to try and keep us in this. He was trying his heart out, but it was all the Blazers in Game Number four, Lillard for three, got it. 67 plays 42. Our defense was taking an absolute hit in this one. And it's all the Portland Trailblazers. Steph was trying to keep us in it. I mean, this was the one game I felt like Steph uh, really was trying to push us over the line. He had uh, 10 assists, I think, in this one. He had 36 points. But it was all the Portland Trailblazers. And they're tying this series up. So we lose two games in a row in the playoffs for the first time. We did sweep the Memphis Grizzlies, as I've mentioned. And it was all the Portland Trailblazers. They dropped 156 points. Yes, that is not a typo. 156. We're going back to uh, San Fran. Series tied. Uh, Clay Thompson actually had 35 in this. Steph had 26. I actually thought Steph had 12 assists, but it was not in this game. Disappointing night here in Portland. Disappointing altogether. We're going back to game five with a vital... It's This game's vital. We get the job done here in the Chase Center. We can go back with a chance to close this Portland Trailblazers team. We are ready here. Steph needs to bounce back. We need to limit the uh, output of Damian Lillard. Look at that. 30 points a night. Absolutely dominating in this series. If we can limit CJ McC and Damian Lillard, we are a massive chance of winning this series. Clay Thompson has been unreal in this series. He's really taken... I mean, in that Memphis series, it was basically all Steph. Now, we have made a lineup change. John Collins will be in the starting lineup. I felt like we needed to make a change. We needed to stretch the floor a bit more. Draymond Green's been struggling as Steph goes inside, trying to get off, trying to get us off to that perfect start in this one here. CJ McCullum, though, getting to his spot, putting it in. Now, if the Blazers win this game, they will get a chance to uh, close it out on their home floor. Is Collins, welcome to the starting lineup. 
I said we needed to make some changes, and John Collins joins the starting lineup, but Lillard here knocking down the three, and Portland really coming out early on playing well. But Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, you've got to take your hats off to these kind of guys. Our defense was a lot better in this game here. Look at this from James Wiseman. Get that weak stuff out of here. Can we please see that again? And that really set the tone here in game number five. Get that weak stuff out of here. We were unreal in this first half hitting, I mean, majority of our shots. I mean, I think we shot 64% in this first half. Absolutely on top of this Portland team. Carmelo Anthony here going inside, traveling. And that basically sums up their night. They were really struggling in this first half. But they did fight back in the second half. It's a one-point game. Clay Thompson trying to get that screen off to Marcus Cousins. Gets to his spot. Pulls for three. Got it. Big shot there from Clay. We needed that. But the Blazers had answers. Look at this from McCullum here. Got it. Big shot there from CJ McCullum. And we needed Steph to stand up. We needed Clay to stand up. And this man here knocks the three down. Final quarter. It's a four-point lead for the Dubs. I mean, we're almost there. We are almost there. It's been a great night of basketball here at the Chase Center. But I tell you what, we are willing this team. Steph is willing this team. And he is not done yet. Throw the lob. And Wiseman throws it down. So we are well on our way to a series lead 3-2. Rondo, kick it to Steph. Steph pulls, got it. Now, we did go on, I mean, close to going on to sealing the deal here. Steph inside, floater alert, got it. The Dubs will go on to take game number five and take a 3-2 series lead with a chance to close the deal at the Motor Center. It has been a great game. We get the job done. We're going to the Motor Center. It's a great bounce back win. We did have a big lead in this game, so it was disappointing that the Portland Trailblazers fought back, but... Steph was huge. Clay Thompson, huge again. 36 and 5. Steph, 28, 6 and 4. Demarcus Cousins, 15, 12 and 5. CJ McCollum had 30. Lillard struggled, man. Damian Lillard, the 15 points, he was just struggling from the field. I feel like that John Collins ad really helped a lot. And we're rolling with the same lineup as we head into game six. A chance to close the series in uh, Portland at the Motor Center as we are here. We win this. We will go through to the Western Conference Finals to take on either the Lakers or the Los Angeles Clippers. The Battle of LA in there. It looks like the Lakers are going to get the job done. So we're going with the starting lineup that we had in Game 5 that worked. We got the job done. Clay and Damian Lillard meet. And boy, oh boy, we came to play here at Motor Center. Steph going around the back. Steph making it look easy with the right hand. And you want to get off to a good start and a closeout game. That's exactly what we did. McCullum ran over the top of Wiseman. And this just started a downfall trend for the Portland Trailblazers. Wiggins misses. Collins insert into that starting lineup. Kick it to Clay. Clay for Chiri. And Clay hits the three. And this perfect start. We were not done yet. McCullum. Gives it over to Damian Lillard. Lillard, look at our defense. Both players jump at Powell. He just hits a tough shot. But we had answers in this game. And we were coming to close this Portland Trailblazers team out. Clay again for three. Clay Thompson unreal in this series. He was the MVP in this series. He had the answers as McCullum goes inside, gets it to go. But the Golden State Warriors, what a first half. 59-34 to 34 as that Portland Trailblazers hit the three. We had answers. We're on top. Wiggins for three. And we are well on our way to closing this one out. Look at this ball movement. Rondo to Draymond. Back on the bench to Wiggins for three. He gets it. And we, like I said, this has been a great series. The Portland Trailblazers definitely provided quite a lot in this series. But we're just too strong in the end. We will win this series 4-2, and we will move on. So stick around. You guys will find out who will play in the next round. Uh, we did actually lose our first playoff games. We lost games 3 and 4 at the Motor Center. We bounced back with games 5 and 6 wins. So both teams getting consecutive wins in this series, but we were just too strong, a little bit too good, and now we move on. So the dubs. Close this one out by 19. We will move on to our next round to take on either the Lakers or the Clippers. Make sure to stick around. You guys will find that out. This was a great series win. I mean, the series was tied 2-2 going back to the Chase Center, and we were just too strong. The inclusion of John Collins really helped into the lineup. I don't know if I'm going to stick with him in the lineup in the next series in the Western Conference Finals, but stick around. You guys will find out if we will. I mean, hope, I mean, maybe we roll Draymond back depending on the matchups, but we take Game 6 
And I mean, we're going to take our hat off to Clay Thompson. That man was absolutely special in this series. Andrew Wiggins, though, in the closeout game, 29, 5, and 6. Steph, 24, 14, and 8, almost a triple double. Damian Lillard really struggled after game four. We played some really nice day on him, so I was happy with that. As uh, Carlo Anthony, having a throwback game, 26, 7, and 8, Carmelo. Now, we will be taking on the Los Angeles Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. I can't wait to get this series out to you guys. Um, I'm pumped. Make sure to hit that like button. We are looking for 100 likes. The next series is set. It is LeBron James and the Lakers. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one.